Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the dispenser actuator paddle in your refrigerator, be sure to unplug the power cord. Use a small flathead screwdriver to depress the tabs on the bottom to release the dispenser user interface assembly. Disconnect the three wire connectors to fully release the assembly. Using a quarter inch socket or nut driver, unthread the four mounting screws, securing the ice store assembly to the housing. Unhook the wires from the retaining clip. Release the dispenser water line from the assembly. Disconnect the ice door motor wire connector. Release the tabs on the left and right sides and you can pull the assembly out. Next, remove the drip tray and unthread the two lower screws and the two upper screws, securing the dispenser housing. Pull the housing free. Use needle nose pliers to detach the actuator spring. You can now release the tabs to detach the old actuator paddle. Install the new dispenser actuator paddle by aligning it in the housing, making sure the arms snap into place on the tabs. Realign the actuator spring. Reposition the dispenser housing and thread the upper and lower screws to secure. Replace the drip tray, keeping the wires and water line in front of the ice store assembly. Reposition the assembly in the housing and snap it into place. Thread the screws to secure. Connect the motor wire connector and hook the wires behind the retaining clip. Snap the dispenser water line into place. Reinstall the user interface assembly by first connecting the wire connectors to the appropriate terminals. Insert the upper tabs into the slots in the housing and snap the assembly into place. Plug the power cord back in and your refrigerator should be ready for use.